it gets worse for Lizzo. Before we get started, guys, I'd like to ask you for a huge favor. If you could please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It would help the YouTube algorithm and I would greatly appreciate it. So it gets worse for Lizzo, like I said. The other day I made a video about how some dancers came out and alleged in a lawsuit that Lizzo was involved in some inappropriate behavior. She had some of her dancers doing things that they didn't want to do, like touch, you know, sexual performers, you know, strippers, whatever, having them eat bananas that they were shooting out of their vaginas, and the captain of the dance team religiously harassing the dancers and inquiring about their personal lives, like their virginities, and basically forcing her religious beliefs onto the other dancers. Now, a couple Couple days ago, more dancers came forward and accused Lizzo of mistreatment. I have an article here from the Daily News that we're going to go over that covers these new allegations and let's go ahead and get right into it. At least six more people are accusing Lizzo of mistreatment following the explosive claims of harassment leveled against the singer in a lawsuit filed last week by three of her former dancers. The additional parties came forward with similar stories to those of Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez, their attorney. Ron Zambrano told the entertainment tonight. Noel, Crystal, and Ariana have bravely spoken out and shared their experiences, opening the door for others to empower to do the same, said Zambrano. Some of the claims we are reviewing involve allegations of sexually charged environment and failure to pay employees and may be actionable, but it is too soon to say. Each of the new accusers toured with the 35-year-old Grammy winner, born Melissa Jefferson, and worked on her reality show, Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls, the outlet confirmed. Alongside her dance captain Charlene Quigley and her production company, the Truth Hurts singer is facing allegations of sexual and religious harassment, weight shaming, assault, false imprisonment, and more. Yeah, so like I said before, that one I don't really accuse Lizzo of. If her manager was religiously like, you know, trying to force her religious beliefs onto others, then yeah, that's not really on Lizzo. So yeah, I can see the religious harassment there. The weight shaming now that they claim here, I don't know if the, the captain was also weight shaming. From my understanding, it was Lizzo that was shaming the dancers and subsequently fired her because she was gaining weight. But again, like I said in the last video, this is rich coming from a person like Lizzo who is unapologetically fat. Lizzo was proud of being fat. So why was she weight shaming her dancers? And why was she worried about them gaining weight? You figured as long as they can perform the job and dance and do the routines, like they're supposed to do it, then that should matter given that Lizzo looks the way she does, right? And it's and is very proud of it. Now the, the false imprisonment one, I don't think I heard about that one. So I'm actually curious to know what exactly is they're talking about here when they say false imprisonment. And so when all this happened, Lizzo put out a statement last week saying, my work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. It's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. I am very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something that I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. Right, but if that's the case, then why are you being sued? It's They're not just alleging this, they're actually suing you. So if they didn't think they had a chance in hell to beat you, a famous woman, in court, they wouldn't be doing this. But again, like I said, I was playing devil's advocate. Like I said, we also don't know. We don't know if these women did it for attention to try to get a settlement out of uh, Lizzo and to get all this brushed away. Who knows? Who really knows what's going on? And with these six new quote unquote victims, and I say victims because we don't know yet. We don't know the story. I don't want to say that they're for real victims. I don't like to presume guilt or innocence to something that we don't know the results of yet. So with six new quote unquote victims coming forward, is it now much more believable that these things actually happen? Or is it that they're trying to ride the gravy train and they're like, well, they're doing it. They're putting out lawsuits. These three girls already started it. Why don't we just go ahead and join in and accuse her of all these improprieties and then get some money out of it too. That could be the case. Again, we won't know until they go to court. But like I said in my last video, most likely they're going to settle out of court. Lizzo is probably not going to want to drag this into court, not because she's in the wrong because we don't know that but because court battles can be messy and court battles oftentimes put out things that you may not want out there about you or about those around you so it could just end up in a settlement and 
you know, court cases are costly too. I mean, she has a lot of money, but just because you got a lot of money don't mean you want to be spending it on your lawyers. But it actually gets even worse for Lizzo because she has been removed from the lineup for consideration for the NFL halftime show during the Super Bowl for next year's Super Bowl. So yeah, so I have this article here that says the NFL was reportedly considering Lizzo for a halftime show at the Super Bowl in 2024. However, that is reportedly no longer the case. According to reports, Lizzo has been eliminated from consideration at the Super Bowl due to the troubling reports of her behavior with her staffers. So now she's actually feeling the hurt. Cause last week I talked about how she had lost 200,000 followers on Instagram and how she would eventually bounce back. But now this is actually hurting her pockets because the Super Bowl is literally one of, if not the biggest sporting event in the United States every year. It matters a whole lot. So the artists that perform there get a lot of exposure, not to say that she wasn't a big name already as it is, but it's a potential to, for her to even build an even bigger fan base. And whatever it is that she might've gotten paid for the Super Bowl, she has lost it at this point. And she has lost that potential revenue uh, that she could have gotten from new fans who just got exposed to her music through the Super Bowl. So yeah, this is looking real bad right now for Lizzo. I don't know at this point, like I said, I, I'm not gonna say that she is guilty or that she is not guilty because we don't know yet. I don't like to do what the internet does and automatically believes whoever comes out with the allegations first um, that's considered the victim, kind of like what happened in the Johnny Depp situation with Amber Heard, where she was automatically believed to be the victim and hashtag me too. And then it turns out she was the actual abuser. So we'll keep an eye out on this uh, Lizzo lawsuit and um, I'll keep you guys updated whenever I get anything else. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and follow me on social media. The links are always in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, check out one of my other videos. They're right there on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.